Welcome to What's in Style with yours truly, Cynthia Florek. I'm a style expert and trend forecaster with a decade's experience analyzing trends from the runway, global shopping destinations and emerging street style. Stay tuned to find out what's in style for your holiday getaway. If you're one of those lucky enough to escape the cold and drab winter months, chances are you're hitting the stores trying to find some great summer staples in the middle of coat and sweater season. Not an easy task. And if you're headed somewhere warm, your bathing suit's usually the center around your packing list. Then all those staples that you need to mix and match to give you an effortlessly pulled together look. For women today, holiday packing seems somewhat of a breeze compared to what women generations before us had to go through. How times have changed. Take a look. Ever since the railway revolution in the 1800s, people now had the freedom to travel to never seen before places. During this era, women hit the beach in long shapeless wool smocks known as bathing gowns. Modesty was key during these times. In the early to mid 1800s, there wasn't much change to the infamous bathing gown. However, by the end of the century, it finally got a makeover and the princess cut was introduced. By the 1900s, the newest swimsuits began relying on fashion and silhouettes finally began to reveal more and more skin. In 1909, Australian swimmer Annette Kellerman was arrested in the US for wearing a loose, short sleeve mid-thigh one-piece. But thanks to Anne, shortly after, the apron or skirt finally disappeared, just leaving a tunic to cover the shorts. Legs were finally okay to show. Now that you know all the facts, doesn't it make your vacation packing seem that much easier and lighter? I'm going to help you kickstart your packing session with some great options to make you look like a seasoned tourista. When you're on holidays, you always need that simple outfit for that perfect day trip. We wanted to give it a bit more of a sporty, casual feel, so we started off with a grey cap. And I love this version of the plaid printed maxi shirt, which is extremely versatile. And I layered it over a chiffon shell top, also that's a little bit boxy. To elevate this look, what I did is I inserted a little bit of metallic in this long skinny scarf. To finish this off, I've teamed it up with a great little wrap pant that's also a swim cover-up. What we wanted to do is keep the accessories nice and bold, very modern, with a nice wrapped bracelet that goes around and I teamed it up back to a jeweled bracelet. Loving the traveler tote bag, we opted for a graphic embossed version. To complete your look, opt for a great little ballerina flap that wraps around the ankle. So another option for your holiday getaway is what I call the chic tourista. The aviator is updated this season with a little bit of that lucite insert. So really this is all about the peasant blouse. It has a lot of volume throughout here. It creates a nice voluminous silhouette. We've updated this with long strands of jewelry to give it that layered boho feel. We've accessorized also with the natural elements back to a chunky bangle. The bag is fantastic with the graphic lettering. What you want to do is choose the formal jogger and it has a little bit more drape because the front is crossed over here. To complete the look, nothing says 70s more than a suede fringe heel. It's a great option and it really pulls together this look and makes it just slightly dressier. While you're on holidays, you always need that perfect night outfit. We've opted for a PJ set. Yes, I said PJ set. Designers like Michael Kors are really bringing this to the forefront, and even in Europe, the girls are starting to adopt this. The way to really glam this up is to use accessories and underpinnings that really elevate this whole look. We've opted for a shimmery little tank that layers back to all the pendant necklaces with some natural elements that really pull this together. With glasses, we've seen a return of the square frame all over the catwalks in spring. We've also used the same effect that we did on the necklace on the bracelet, really giving it that toned down luxury feel. For the bag, you want the luxury of having your hands free, so I've opted for a great little small clutch. The pajama pant is really versatile and of course, not to mention comfortable. We've opted for a stiletto heel in a summer suede that picks up some of the color in the print and it really draws your eye and it really elongates your leg. 